Um, so, hi guys. Very sunny today, so I decided to wait till this moment so that I can fix the level. You can see, so we are about to cast uh, this, uh, this floor. So I think this is a car park area. So that one you are seeing on the opposite side will soon be ready. It's, it's almost the same floor, there's just a little difference between the two of them. So this is a car park area. So it will be ready. We want to cast this floor very soon. So I want to establish um, the, the top of the casting level and i want to transfer it on all the columns so that we can monitor the the, the casting and when is the point the casting comes i'll make sure i'm also available for them so so that's what i want to do today so the first thing i want to be doing is i want to check the difference in height on that next floor and this floor so i want to check in difference in elevation between the two buildings, between the two floors. So you can see we have a gap between them. Let me show you that is, that is the gallery section where we have we have five sections. Can you see it? Can you see it? So we have like five sections of cinemas. Can you see? So this is the gap between the two buildings, the main building and the and the car park area. So let me quickly do that. I want to check, let me check the difference in elevation first. So uh, I've already set my my leveling instruments, I'm, I'm true with that. So I want to observe my colleague on the other side. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see him. You can see him. There he is over there. So I want to check that floor and this floor together. So that's what I want to be doing. So when he checks that spot, that's my backside. Once he check that, so he will come over to this to this car park area and check this same floor also, so that I can calculate the difference. Okay, I'm coming. I'm trying to clear my focus. I'm trying to clear my focus. Okay, I think he's ready now. He's ready now. Nice. One one eight. One one eight five. That is one one eight five. Let me show you guys so that you also can see it. Let me see. It's going to be visible. Can you guys see it? It's not clear. It's not clear. What about this? Uh -huh. I hope you guys can see him now. Yeah. So let me call him to call come over. Yeah, Mark. So I will write down my back sites which is 1185 1, that's my back side so he's coming over to this floor so i will i will check this floor so because looking at the design you can see there's a ramp here there's a ramp here you can see so this ramp is going to link the two floors together so i told you it's a car park area so once the car comes in from the other ramp so what it does is it just walk in through this ramp and link to the next floor because the next floor is coming is coming to this side you can see this beam so this beam is going to connect both floors together you can see it you can see it so this is a ramp you can see the section so this is a ramp for the, for the next floor so this ramp is going to connect the next floor with this so he's going to come here and I will I will observe this floor also to see the, the difference in, in levels, the difference in elevation because there's there's a required level. There's a level that we must meet up with. So I want to check, I want to cross check if what I've been doing so far is still intact. So that's what I want to do. Yeah, so can see it's going to the first ramp over there so it's going to the first ramp so i'll check the the the, the edge the last edge of the ramp so i'll look in i'll check it with with the other one here so we have two ramps i told you earlier we have two ramps so with the one for him for cars to move in because this building you are seeing the main building you are seeing is, is the car park and it's still going to extend up to 
the front side of of this of where the last the last beam for the car park so it's going to link to this building so there's a in and out for every cars that, that are coming in and are going out so let me check is there already so let me observe him the hedge Okay. okay. Is there ready? Okay, this is one, two, nine, zero. Yeah, let me show you guys. One, two, nine, zero. That is one two nine zero. I want to check the other side too and know the difference. Yeah, so I'll put that one two nine zero down. So I want to check this last one also. So that I'll now calculate the difference between between the three points from my backside and, the, and this point. So I'll know the difference. Yeah, so one one eight five. So that's not been my back side minus my four side. So one one eight five minus one two nine zero. So I have fifteen ninety. I have one meter five cm. That is one zero five zero. Yeah. No, I have. I have, that is one hundred and that is one hundred and five mm. 1590 yeah that's 105 mm that's what i have that's the difference between the two so 105 mm so now um what i'll be doing next is uh i want to transfer the, the height around so that we can cast this floor so I to transfer the height and take the guys through the process just just make sure you follow through and watch till the end of the video just make sure you follow through and you watch till the end of the video so i'll take you guys through on the next process once I've checked the level, so the next thing I want to do is I want to transfer the, the final level of the cast. I want to transfer it up. And I will establish it on a column. Then after that, I will now transfer it around on all the columns. So that's that's how I do. I think I have I've done a video that concerns that and at, at first. And there is nothing I used to do again. Before I do that, I always make sure that I, I observe all the top of the beams. I observe every top of the beam. I check the, the, the spot heights, check the top of the beams. So if there is anyone that is too high, so they will need to work on it to bring it down to the normal height. So it won't affect my own level. It won't affect my, my top of the concrete level. So that's one thing I used to do. I always make sure that I check all the top of the beams to make sure that all the, the, the reinforcements, the, the reinforcement of the beams, they are all intact and the, and the slabs, the, the reinforcement for the slabs, all of them are all intact. So I always make sure I check them before transferring the, the, the height of the, the casting. To the process. So you set the staff on that mark. So I will check from there. So you can see the process. So I want to transfer the top of the casting from because the, the height of the floor to floor is three meters. So I already have 1.5 meter, the one I told you earlier that I used to transfer on, on my site. So now I've transferred the, the, the 1.5 is already existing on the column. So I'm adding another 1.5. Hope I'm transferring another 1.5 to make it 3 meter. So that's what I'm doing now. So I will transfer the, the top of concrete on, on this column. So that's what I want to do. Now. So after doing that, once I've established it on that column, then I can now transfer it around. Can I transfer it around on all the columns? So that's that's how I get it done. If I want to do any casting level like that, if we want to do our cast, casting of our slab, I will just make sure that I go to the the floor that is underneath the the floor that is uh, before this one. That is the the floor that is underneath. I will check the 1.5 meter, then I will add another 1.5 meter to it, transfer it to the column. Then I will now establish it around on all other columns. So that's how I fix that. So in case you don't understand or you have a question about that, just make sure you, you drop it in the comment section so I will, I will 
will answer that so that's how i get it done so thank you guys thank you so let me take this last let me take this last point so that you guys can see it uh, okay this is two nine two nine six five this is two nine six five let me show you guys i want to add another 1.5 to that point so that i can get the the top of the casting level let me show you guys you can see it that is two nine six five so that's my backside. Yeah, Max, come over. 